everyone, my name is Jen, or people also call me Amy. Uh, it's really exciting to stand here today to share with you all about my story, how I went from a party goer to a straight A plus student. Uh, so before we actually begin the presentation, I will I want to play with you a small game, and uh, there will be a sentence on a statement. A statement on, <laughs> on the screen, and uh, if the statement describes you, please stand up. Okay? Yeah. Alright, so please stand up if you are in your first year of university, bachelor or master, or something else. Alright, thank you. Yeah. Uh, please stand up if you have been to South Korea. <laughs> okay, thank you. And please stand up if you want to change yourself right now. For the better or? Yeah, for the better. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I came to Finland four years ago to pursue my bachelor's degree. I was studying uh, in Yuensu and uh, this is how I spent my first two years of university. Fun, fun and more fun. So at that time I was living in the same building with around 40 exchange students. Like they partied a lot and I just couldn't help myself, you know, getting along. So I spent of my time having great drinking, dinners, you know, so go to parties, and the result is, yeah, I skip classes, I miss classes, I sleep in class even, and then I got really low score record. And then I went to Korea. Uh, still a lot of hangouts, a lot of parties, I meet with old friends, make new friends, but uh, I got straight A plus in all the five classes that I was taken. So one course was uh, five credits in, in Finnish standard. This uh, full time course. Yeah. Uh, you may ask why? What has changed? You know, I, I still I still go to parties. I still hang out with friends. So why there's a difference between uh, my score? Uh, I will I will leave these uh, questions for later. Uh, I want to first uh, tell you the six things that I've learned from Korean students during my exchange. First is uh, what I have observed is that Korean students they always sit in a firm in Finland. Uh, if you come late uh, if you come late for class, usually you you have to sit in the front. But in Korea, it's completely opposite. So if you come late for class, usually you have to sit in the back. And um, if I want to get the seat in the front, usually I have to arrive 15 minutes before class. Because also Koreans, they tend to reserve the seat for their peers. And uh, yeah, I think the competition for the seat is really intense. And I think also that uh, it's nice to sit in the front so that you can get attention from the teacher and you have better concentration. And uh, they really pay attention to scores. So at the beginning of every, you know, every course, there will be an introductory lesson where the teachers uh, tell you about how the course will be and then ask for questions from the students. And most of the questions will be about score. Like, what is the grading curve, how to get this score, how to get that, that score, but they would rarely ask about, you know, for example, course content. I don't know if it's good or not, but personally, I think that we should, uh, I should pay attention to score also, because after the first uh, two years of university, when the score was low, um, I had to apply for internship and you know what happened? Like, I was afraid to apply to companies that I want to apply. Can you see the, the thing here, the problem here? 
The problem is that my confidence got damaged. And I, I think that's, that's the worst consequence that um, the first two years of university gave me. I still love my friends a lot, but I couldn't, uh, but I have to admit that my confidence was not in a good state at that time. And uh, I think having low scores in university, uh, having high score in university, it helps you boost your confidence. Of course, I'm not saying that having low score is you cannot do good in life, but it's just better to pay attention to this. And they study super hard, so this picture, uh, I took this picture at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. Uh, this is our learning center. So during the exam period, the library or the learning center will be open overnight. They, they close the door of the library at around 12 a.m. And uh, the students are locked inside and they can only go out at 5 a.m. So the students would usually, you know, camp there, camp to study. They bring sleeping bag, they bring food, and uh, they study until the morning. Yeah, I'm, uh, some of my friends uh, even told me that they were sleepless for around three, three days in a row. Yeah, so I personally don't like, uh, you know, study overnight, but I think it's good that you study hard. And uh, this is just a, a studying habit that I have observed from my Korean peers. They usually record the lectures and then they will listen to it again during uh, the, their exam preparation. I think this is a good technique, I, I think. Uh, and you know, they even sell the, the records on the university forum. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, one thing I really like about the Korean students is that they are really politically active. What I mean by this is that uh, four years ago when I first came to Finland, one international friend approached me and asked, uh, how many parties does your country have? And I couldn't even answer. There were a few more Vietnamese friends with me at that time and they just couldn't answer that basic question also. I think, yeah, I personally think that we should all care about our country's politics because it's affecting all of us. Uh, and in Korea, the Korean students, they are really Pay, they, they really pay attention to the country's politics and by politically active, I also mean that they voice their opinions whenever they feel like to. Uh, those are the two demonstrations or shorter protests that happened in my university during the time I was there. So uh, this one is the demonstration against the university residents' decision to open a new adult learning center in the university because they think that this will damage the university's reputation. And this one is uh, the Me Too movement. It happened in my university also that uh, a male teacher, you know, um, asked female students to serve alcohol to, to others. And uh, usually they the student union will be the one who organized this kind of demonstration. They spread the news on the university online forum and the student will tell each other about that and gather together doing big, big demonstration. And this one uh, is a very important uh, event in the Korean history also because it's later it led to the big, a bigger demonstration to take the Korean president down. Uh, if you are curious, you can read more about this on the internet. And finally, uh, this is what I've learned also. I was studying at a, an old women university. Exchange students can be male, but basically on the campus you can only see girls. So, but they dress up just to, for, 
like not for boys to see, but to you know to be confident. Um, and uh, I have a Singaporean. Uh, she told me that in her university, if the dormitory is located on campus, usually students will go to class with flip flops and shorts. But in Korea, it's a completely different case. Even the dormitory is located on campus, but they still go to class, you know, with uh, nice hair, nice shoes, nice clothes. And by pretty, I didn't mean that you have to put on heavy makeup. But at least I think we should all look tidy so that you're always, you know, confident about yourself. And let's come, back, uh, let's come back to the question at the beginning. So what has changed? Why I still go to party, I still hang out, but then I become, you know, I got straight A plus. Um, I think the first reason is that in Korea, the education system is really strict and competitive. So what, is, uh, what I mean by strict is that, for example, uh, if you absent for class three times, then you you are automatically fail that course, and the uh, some teachers even count late as absent, and um, you cannot absent uh, the class even if you are sick. You can only absent if you have doctor's prescription or it's an emergency. So even if the students are sick, they still come to class. And uh, it's also competitive in a way that the employers, they look at your score records and also see which university you're from. And that's why when I am put in such an, a strict and competitive environment, I feel if, 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 I, did, if I do something great here, it, it, it would be nice. And I have this sense of achievement so, yeah, I want to get the best that I can get. I want to be the top student. And also, uh, I think it's also because I am moving to a new environment. I have a friend uh, during secondary school, she used to be a gangster girl. But then in high school, she became a good student, even the, the class president. And she told me that during secondary school, she wanted to change also, but she couldn't because everyone there knows that she's a gangster girl. How can she change? And I think it's true. In, in Finland, even if I want to change, then the teachers already know that I'm lazy. I sleep in class. It's really hard for me to change. But when I come to a new environment, I can start again. No, there, no one knows who I was. So I have, you know, <laughs> better environment, better, uh, yeah, can continue. And, uh, but I think the most important thing is that I have changed. It's me, I have changed. I changed my priority. When I was, uh, you know, during the first years of university, I wanted to make as many, as many friends as, as possible. But then I think maybe that's, that shouldn't be my priority anymore. So I changed my priority, I changed my mindset, and then I also changed my attitude. I think this attitude is really important because, for example, in Korea, I used to took a, a course called International Political Economy, and then I came back to Finland. I retook the exam of that course, and when I read through my Finnish teacher's materials, I realized that it was so good, but when I was in Finland, I didn't know that. It's just because I didn't pay attention to the lessons. I didn't pay atti attention to the teachers, uh, what the teachers say. It's not the teacher's problem that I didn't get anything in my mind, but, but yeah, it's my problem. It's our problem. Alright, so um, my advice for, for, for you, if, if you want to change, is, um, is 
that you should have uh, a growth mindset. So basically, uh, in having a growth mindset is the belief that um, the most basic abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. So if you want to get IS 9.0, uh, you can do it. Why not? If you, you want to be the, the top student in, in your university, you can do it. Why not? If, if you, as long as you have hard work, you have right strategies and also you have uh, input from others, you can do anything. Yeah, uh, that's what I believe. And also I think we should own, you know, aim high, shoot for the moon, even if you miss, you will land above the stars. Mm -hmm. um, let's say, if, if you are about to take IELTS exam, and for 9.0. If you take cheap math, 800, that should be your goal so that, you know, even if you miss, you will land among the stars. And also, it's, maybe it's important that you change the environment. As, as, I, as I've mentioned to you before, in your own environment, people already know who you are. It's really, maybe it's hard for some to change, so maybe you need, you know, a new environment. And change there and then you come back to your own environment, it's okay. And I think the environment is also really important because you are the average of the five people that you spend most time with. And finally, study hard. I know that many people told me that practical knowledge is more important than when you study in university. I agree, totally agree, but it would be better if it's equipped with, you know, theoretical foundation, why not? And also, if you, if you have good reputation with your teachers, let's say, then he or she uh, can recommend you to jobs also. So, I think you should always do best if you can. And finally, you need to love yourself. As I've mentioned to you before, uh, low score, miss class, makes my confidence damage. It damages my confidence. And I love myself. I want me to be confident. So, in everything I do, I do it best. Uh, thank you for listening.